Hey guys, so in the last section we were looking at index based technique through which we can solve two pointer problems. Now in this section we will look at another such approach which is known as slow and fast pointer. Right, so as the name suggests in this technique we will have two different pointers. One is a slow pointer and other one is the fast pointer. Right, and the thought process which actually goes behind this particular technique is the fact that one of them will actually move faster than the other. So this actually involves a loop kind of loop which is present in the problem statement and then in the loop we will actually move both of them so we will be moving slow and we'll be moving fast at any given point of time and the thought process here is that if both of them are moving at different speed then fast would eventually catch up to slow at any given point of time right so what we are saying is that fast equal equal to slow in this type of problem statement is inevitable right so it will eventually catch up and thus will give me a solution right now this problem statement was actually uh, discovered by a, a person whose name is robert floyd now you might be thinking why i why i'm talking about scientists here but uh, why i'm talking about this guy is because, because there is a very nice algorithm which is named after him which is floyd cycle detection right you will see uh, you might have encountered this algorithm before but we'll just take a minute to discuss this algorithm again so floyd like cycle detection technique this particular technique what it does is it is helpful it actually is used to find a loop inside a linked list right so if the linked list is given to us and there is a loop at any given point of time how we can identify a loop in this particular problem so what we do we actually create two different pointers slow pointer and we keep a fast pointer Right, and we move both of them in the same direction and the deduction which we get is that if slow meets fast at any given point of time then there is a cycle in the linked list now how we can reduce it Pro probably like because once slow and fast will enter this loop fast will be actually moving at twice the speed than slow and eventually fast will catch up with the slow pointer right so there is and there is one more variation of this problem wherein we need to find out the entry point the entry point or basically the point from where the loop starts so there is also one algorithm around this let's suppose if i name this distance x and my slow and fast pointer are meeting at this position and let us suppose from here the meeting point which is going to be my m from my m to this c the distance here is z and this remaining distance is y right so if i take into account that slow is meeting fast and any given point of time how much time how much distance will be traveled by slow pointer right so the distance traveled by slow pointer would be x plus this z so slow pointer will move x plus z distance right on the other end how much distance will be traveled by the fast pointer fast will go x then z then y then again z so it will be x plus z plus y plus z right now according to the logic 2 into slow should be equal to fast in terms of distance right because fast is covering twice the distance of the slow so what we do 2x plus 2z is equal to x plus 2z plus y right now this 2z and 2z will count up x will go down this side and x is equal to y so that's what we deduce via this algorithm so this distance x is going to be equal to this distance y now in order to find out the point of uh, like start of the loop we just need to start another pointer from this point and we'll move the slow pointer from this end and when both of them will collide they, that point will be the meeting point of of basically my cycle right so this is the logic and this was the algorithm which was deduced by floyd but again like this technique can be used in multiple other kind of problems as well like find out the middle element of a linked list or uh, if there is a problem statement wherein we have to find out a particular element given within the linked list then also we can use this technique right sure so let us see now some problem statements around this particular technique slow fast pointer <laughs> 